السلام عليكم ورحمة الله peace upon you I'm Dr. Ahmed Taha lecturer of anesthesia in Shams University today we'll see how to identify the lumbar plexus with the ultrasound first we'll see this in uh, plastic skeleton then I'll uh, show you the technique on uh, cadaveric photos obtained from uh, Atlas Anatomy website then we'll do uh, a block, a real block technique this pen represents the lumbar plexus it lies anterior to transverse process and just lateral to the body of the vertebrae within the psoas muscle. Unfortunately, when you try to see it with the ultrasound probe like this, the bone structures here hide the lumbar plexus. What we do, we do one trick. We go with the ultrasound probe, we tilt the body like this. So we look at it from postulateral view. How to do the postulateral view? What to do? It just, you go lateral and then rock the ultrasound probe medially. In this view, you will see it like this, posterolateral view. Rocking movement is the movement of the ultrasound probe across the short axis. This is a short ax. If you, this is a short ax. If you do like this, this is called rocking movement. So what we will do, we will go lateral, then rock it medial. Okay, this is the middle line. Okay, and this is the level of iliac crest. We put the ultrasound probe with the bevel directed laterally, and instead of bed line, we three centimeters laterally. Then we rocked medially. We slide or move the ultrasound probe up and down, searching for the transverse process. Once the transverse process is identified, move the ultrasound probe in the cephalic direction to identify the wave sign. In this plane, the lumbar plexus can be identified just lateral to the body of the vertebra. Note the pulsating vascular structures beside the lumbar plexus. A 20 gauge insulated needle is advanced by the in-plane technique towards the lumbar plexus. Contraction of psoas muscle confirms the plexus identification. Adjust the needle tip position to get adequate quadriceps twitches. Do a careful aspiration before starting injection of local anesthetic. Note the disappearance of psoas twitches with starting injection, what's known as the positive rush sign. This is a cut section of a human cadaver at the level of L3. You can see the lumbar plexus lies within the psoas muscle, just lateral to the body of the vertebrae. Relative to the transverse process, the psoas muscle lies deep, the quadratus lumborus muscle lies lateral, while the erectus spinalis muscle lies superficial. When the ultrasound probe is placed lateral to the midline and rooked medially, the cut will be like this. On the ultrasound image, the transverse process is still hiding the lumbar plexus behind. So, we slide the ultrasound probe in a cephalic direction. This is a cut section at a more cephalic level. Therefore, the transverse process disappears. Note that a spinous process appears in this level. With the described ultrasound position, the cut will be like this. In this image, if you remove everything except bone, the lateral surface of the spinous process, lamina, and vertebral body will appear like a wave. I call this the wave sign. On the ultrasound image, the wave sign can be identified. The lumbar plexus can be identified just lateral to the body of the vertebrae.